Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let's we discuss the project about dynamic image segmentation using fuzzy C means based genetic algorithm. In this paper, fuzzy C means clustering helps in generating the population of a genetic algorithm which thereby automatically segments the image. Segmentation refers of to the process of partitioning a digital image into multiple segments or regions. The goal of segmentation is to simplify the representation of an image into something that is more meaningful and easier to analyze. Image segmentation is typically used to locate objects and boundaries in images. More precisely, image segmentation is the process of assigning a label to every pixel in an image such that pixel with the same label share certain visual characteristic. Image segmentation is a very important field in image analysis, object recognition, image coding and medical imaging. We will use the proposed work to medical MRI brain images. Now let us see the view on the data flow diagram. First we load up our input image, our MRI brain image and the next step is encoding. Each chromosome represents a solution which is a sequence of K clusters centers for an n dimensional space each cluster center is mapped to n consecutive genes in the chromosome for image data sets each gene is an integer representing on intensity value and the next step is population initialization in genetic algorithm population size of p is needed in this proposed method the fcm is run p times for generating these p chromosomes each chromosome is of size k so each of the p chromosomes is obtained by the fcm algorithm each chromosome of the population is a potential solution by fcm algorithm with number of letters c equal to k the fuzzy c means algorithm assigns pixel to each category by using fuzzy memberships and the next step is fitness computation the fitness computation is accomplished in two steps first the pixel data set is clustered according to the center encoded in the chromosome under considerations such that each intensity value xi i is equal to 1 comma 2 etc m cross n is assigned to cluster with the center zc j is equal to 1 2 etc k and the next step is a low value of intra cluster spread is a characteristic of efficient clustering and the next one is selection this fitness value is used to associate you a probability of selection with each individual chromosome we apply roulette wheel selection a proportional selection algorithm where the number of copies of the chromosome that go into the matting pool for subsequent operations is proportional to its fitness and the next step is crossover in this module a single point crossover with a fixed crossover probability of mu z is used and the next last step is mutation. Each chromosome undergoes mutation with a fixed probability mu m. A number of number tau in the range 0, 0,1 is generated with uniform distribution. And the final we load the performance analysis for the FCM segmentation and with the help of GA. Now let us see the execution of the program. First I select main.m file and click run file. This is an open dialog box. This is our data set. Contains various MRI images. There are totally 172 images. You can select any one of this. Now I select this. Then FCM starts its clustering. Our proposed work is FCM based genetic algorithm clustering. In genetic algorithm, as a population or based stochastic search procedure to find extract or approximate solution to optimization on search problems. Each chromosome in the population is a potential solution to the problem. Genetic algorithm creates a sequence of population for each successive generation by using a selection mechanism and uses operators such as crossover and mutation as principal search mechanisms. The aim of the algorithm being to optimize a given adjective or fitness function. An encoding mechanism maps each potential solution to the chromosome. An objective function or fitness function is used to evaluate the ability of each chromosome to provide a satisfactory solution to the problem. The selection procedure modeled on natural survival of the fitness mechanism ensure that the fitter chromosomes have a greater number of 
offspring in the subsequent generations. For crossover, two chromosomes are randomly chosen from the population. Assume the length of the chromosome to be L. This process randomly choose a point between L and L-1 and swaps the connect of the two chromosomes beyond the crossover point to obtain the offspring. A crossover between a pair of chromosomes is affected only if they satisfy the crossover probability. Mutuation is a second operator after crossover which is used for randomizing the search. Mutuation involves altering the content of the chromosomes at a randomly selected position in the chromosome after determining if the chromosome satisfy the mutuation probability. In order to determine the execution of GA, a stopped criteria is specified specifying the number of iterations of the generational cycle is one common technique of achieving this end and this is the final results or uh, this is a original image and this is a result of our fcm based normal fcm output and this is our proposed output that is means our fcm based genetic algorithm clustering output this is our original image. We compare these two results with the help of the PSNR calculation, peak signal to noise ratio calculation. The how can we differ from this means? We will calculate the PSNR value for this original frame and the FCM based clustering frame, and also the original frame and the and our proposed frame. values are shown here this is a PSNR value for the normal FCM and this is a PSNR value for the genetic algorithm based clustering this proposed work presented a new approach for unsupervised image segmentation algorithm based on clustering technique which determines the optimal clustering of one image data set with minimum user intervention in this paper that the user does not need to predict the optimal number of clusters required to partition the data set in advance comparison of the experimental result with that of other clustering methods show that the technique gives satisfactory results when applied on MRI images thank you